Hello, welcome. Let's continue our questions. Question 48, 49 will be in this episode of Ghana Teacher and Sexual Examination, the numeracy aspect. That they recorded a mean score of 24 on 5 thirties. That's the mean score on 5 thirties. So what should she score on the sixth test to bring her mean score up to what? 26. So we know that if I'm taking a mean, the mean is always the sum of data over number of what? Data. So in this question, they say the mean, which is what? The mean of, this is the mean, 24. We don't know the number of taxes we are adding, but we know how many taxes we add. We know five of the taxes. We know the mean. It means we are looking for the sum. And if I do cross multiplication from here, to find the sum of numbers, I'll only multiply the mean by what? The number of taxes. So total number of uh, exercises or text added is going to be the mean, which is 24 times 5, which is a number of taxes that have been added. So I believe this will be 100, and this will be 40, so this will be 20, so 120. It means that all the text, all the five texts, if added, will give us what? 120. Good. Now, if the sieve test is coming, it will also increase this number. Then it's also going to increase the number of what? Texts to six. So from the same he point here, your mean is going to be the sum of the numbers over n. Where in this case, the mean is going to be 26. We have been told that the mean score will be 26. The sum of the text is going to be 120 plus whatever text that the sieve score will be. So if the sieve score is 4, we add it to this. Then the number of taxes will now move from 5 to what? 6. So here it becomes 6. Following the same formula. This is about mean, average. So this will be a cross multiplication. You have having 6 multiplying this, then 1 multiplying this. So this becomes 26 times 6 equals to 120 plus what? Y. I believe this will give us 120, 36. So 156 equals to 120 plus Y. So Y will just be 156 minus 120. And that will be 36. It means for the mean score to move from 24 to become 26, the next text that he will have or she will have should be 36. If not, the mean will decrease. Question number 49. So a school want to paint its rectangular playing field measuring 118 meters by 92 meters with a wire mesh. So how many meters of the wire mesh will be needed to complete the fencing? So let's see, this is the playing field, football park. We know measure a 118, simply with the length will be 118 meters, the breadth will be 92 meters. So for you to be able to face the breadth, you need what? A wire max of 92. If you need to face the length here, we need 118. Which means if I add this to this, I'll be able to face two sides of the, uh, the field. Then I need to find here, which is the same as this. Find here, which is the same as this. That gives you the perimeter. So we know Perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus B. Let me just factorize it. It's going to be 2 times the L plus what? The B. So in this case, 2 times 118 plus 92. Let's do the calculation in the 118, 92, 0 as in 10. Plus this will be 11, then this is going to be 1, right? So I'll be having 2 times 110 
going to be 220 meters. We need 220 meters of wire mesh to be able to face the rectangular playing field which has these dimensions. Thank you for watching. Like, share and comment.